Okay guys, I'm back in Genshin Impact. So, continue from uh, last time. I already unlocked Shadows Amid Snowstorms, but only Act 1 eh, but there's only one day left. But uh, yeah, for this video, let's just see how far I can go, alright, for now. Here. Hey, Emma, again. Cyrus, Halid, what's everyone doing at Dragonspine? Don't you mind the cold? Long time no see. Oh, the traveler is joining us too. Oh, great, fantastic, wonderful! <laughs> the more, the merrier. I agree. I feel much better with the traveler joining us. Definitely the kind of person you want to have around in a tight um, spot. What's the occasion? Oh, right! Paimon remembers most of these people are from the Adventurers Guild. Uh, then again, it seems a certain Outrider is <laughs> joined too. <laughs> Allow me to explain. The Adventurers Guild is holding it's winter as if trading on I've already spine. left Monster, but I haven't. <laughs> as you know, our members have varying levels of adventure experience. Dragonspine is an excellent place for budding adventurers to challenge themselves and improve. But it's dangerous okay. to go alone. So, we made a plan for senior members to pair up with junior members. This way, everyone can experience training on Dragonspine together under safe and okay. now every adventurer can progress <laughs> together. I have been working on this grand plan for half a year now, and it's finally coming together! <laughs> That's a great plan. <laughs> hey, you are an outstanding adventurer. Surely you must be willing to join us and help out. So, Ember, what are you doing here? Is the Adventurers Guild short on experienced members? Well, that's part of it, actually. The other reason is, when I was patrolling the perimeter of Dragonspine, oh, I found a lost kid named Joel. I heard oh, he lives here on the camp, so Joel. I escorted him back. Uh, I remember that kid, but Joel's father. I remember that kid. I know. Joel's mm. father went missing. I totally okay, sympathize Joel, with how Joel. much Joel misses his family. <laughs> Dragonspine is so bleak and deserted. It must have been so lonely for him here. Aww, Amber. Anyway, I wanted to do something to cheer Joel up. So, I said I'd build a snowman with him. Build it's something snowman. he enjoys doing. It also gives me a chance to stay here for a while and help Cyrus out. Okay. <laughs> Aw, really? Thank you. Let's go meet up with Joel then. Oh, I invited another friend of mine to join too. She should be here any second. She'll be perfect for this kind of thing. Ooh. Hey, Cyrus, we've got to take off. Is that okay? No problem. Go ahead. I still have some final checks to make. So, I will call you before we depart. Okay then. Talk to the lonely Joel. Oh, Joel, eh? not Joel. Where is he? The same place? Hey, Joel, we're here. Uh, it hasn't been that long. <laughs> Hi, everyone. <laughs> I'm so happy right now. It's nice to have so many people to hang out with. Are you here to build a snowman, <gasps> too? Yula! That was the friend? Build a snowman. Yula, dance with the shimmering wave. Okay. Wow. Oh, sorry. I forgot to do the introductions. This is Yula, the Spindrift Knight and captain of the Knights of Favonius Reconnaissance Company. Amber, you're being far too formal. The child is never going <laughs> to remember all that. Please, just call me Yula. <laughs> okay, Auntie Yula. You can call me Joel. Auntie. Eula? Auntie. Uh-oh. Eula's gonna add that to her long list of scores to settle. Alright. If that's what you want to call me, <laughs> go right ahead. Whoa. Eula just let something go for once? Amber, what's this I hear about a snowman? I came to assist because you told me the Adventurer's Guild was short-handed. Yeah, that's something else. But look. Joel's at the age where he should be having fun, and there's nothing to play with on Dragonspine. He used to build snowmen with his dad, and since his dad's not around, we're keeping him company instead. Okay. Besides, Eula, it's gotta be more fun than taking an ice bath all by yourself. <laughs> an ice bath? 
Let's combine our forces and build ourselves a huge snowman. It'll be a ton of fun. Yep, yep. Count Paimon in, too. Paimon wants to build a snowman. <sighs> and Eula, <laughs> are you too busy to join in? If so, it's okay. I understand. <sighs> no, nothing like that. My mind was on something else, that's all. Building a snowman with Joel, are we? <laughs> Sounds wonderful. I'd be delighted to join you. <laughs> then let's get started. First, we need to split up into teams to gather some supplies. Joel and I will be on one team. You and Eula can be on the other team. Oh? Hey, Joel, see that huge tree over there? Want to race me there? Really? Yeah, <laughs> let's do it. <laughs> hey, what's up with you two? Why hmm? are you just staring at each other without saying anything? Uh, you're acting a little out of character. I'm trying to figure out what you're thinking. Well, this is my first time meeting, uh, so I don't know. Well, <clears throat> hmm? there's no one else around. You can see. Joel probably hasn't spent much of his life in the city. He doesn't know me. And he doesn't know what the Lawrence name means to the people in Mondstadt. Right. That's why he calls you Auntie Eula. <laughs> Careful, Paimon. True. <laughs> in his eyes, I'm just another ordinary person from Mondstadt. It was a surprise, but not in a bad way at all. So there's something else bothering you? <laughs> How very perceptive of you. Were you staring at me the whole time when everyone was talking? <laughs> you shan't be getting off lightly for that. The truth is, I'm a little concerned that I might be quite inept at building snowmen. I have never built a snowman before. <laughs> My upbringing was very strict, so I never had the chance when I was a child. And after I grew up, of course, it's not the sort of thing I would spend my time doing. Oh, no! I'm starting to feel sorry for you, uh... Take it easy, it's just for fun, yeah? You sound confident. <laughs> <laughs> Alright then. Enough small talk for now. I see we have a member of the Adventurers Guild joining us. Greetings! Oh, there, yeah. We have a slight problem here. We've done a head count and it turns out that we have an odd number of participants. In other words, we still have one instructor slot left to fill. Oh? How it happened was, we originally asked Fischl to be an instructor. Fischl? But she was busy with something outside of Mondstadt during this period. So, we found another adventurer to fill in for her, but they still haven't shown up yet. Thank goodness you are here. <sighs> oh, hello. My name is Gerald. Gerald. I'm a new adventurer. Okay. In that case... You like and help. Fine. But for that, you will pay. Really? Huh? Pay for what? Uh, that's just how Yula talks to you and say fans with you. I don't even know Yula's character though. <laughs> okay, I got it. I'm ready and willing to learn. <laughs> Probably there's, an, there's another then story is <laughs> Thank that you I missed. For your help, Yula. If anybody else signs up later, I may have to ask for your help as well. Okay, no problem. Why did you give the spot to Yula? Uh, I want people to know all the good qualities she has. You got this very needs this kind of opportunity. Ah, uh, I oh, just. Uh, okay! <laughs> <laughs> You're so nice! Paimon noticed Eula smiled just now. It must have meant a lot to her. To be honest, Eula really is the best candidate for an instructor. Most people would find it hard to cope on the mountain because of the sheer cold, but not her! Okay. Oh. Now Paimon gets it. This must be the whole reason why Amber got you involved in the first place. Um, we were supposed to find supplies, but now you was busy with other stuff, and uh, <laughs> Paimon doesn't feel like going around collecting things. How do you think Amber and Joel are doing? Let's head up the mountain and see what they're up to. Okay. Head to Amber and Joel. Go to Dragon's Point and find Amber. Okay. Um. Can I just teleport? Yes. <laughs> I'm glad I already explored everything. Strange. Didn't they say they were going this way? Where the heck are they? Did we get here too late? Have they moved on already? Let's 
strange rustling surrounds you. Uh oh. Did you hear that? Uh, are they in danger? Hurry, let's go check it out. Okay. Follow the source of the voice. Oh boy. Just keep going. <coughs> Looks like we lost it. How could that happen? After all the adventures we've been on, our tracking skills are honed to perfection. Aren't they? Oh, guess we underestimated, guess we underestimated whatever was behind it. But if that's the case, what exactly are we dealing with here? I know that voice. Albedo. Mm -hmm. Isn't it? Huh? Yep, it's Albedo. What brings you to Dragonspine? So it was just you? What do you mean by that? On the way here, we kept hearing weird noises. And it felt like someone was watching us the whole time. Turns out it was just you! Was it? Honestly, you really gave us the creeps. If you're bored up here, be. go find something useful to do. <laughs> Don't go sneaking around scaring the poop out of people. The things you felt and heard could easily be attributed to animals or bandits, perhaps. You should be wary at all times in this environment. There are all too many ways to sustain losses here if you aren't careful. So, what business brought you here? Long story. We actually came to look for you, but then it turned into looking for Amber, but now we've met you, so <laughs> we're back to that again. Your thought process is rather chaotic, as is the way in which you articulate it. Hey! How dare you! All <laughs> Paimon's trying to say is that we came here to look for you! Oh, is that so? Yep. Then it must surely be something of great importance. Nothing All serious years. though. He seems to be in a better mood than we thought, right? Does that mean Timaeus' stupidity doesn't really get to him huh? after all? You're probably overthinking it. Huh. Okay, let's... Let's just forget that ever came up. That's okay if you can't tell me about it. Just treat this as an opportunity to stroll on the mountain and enjoy the view. So basically, the truth is we're here on adventurer duty. Adventure duty? Okay. Oh, I see. So you foisted the rookie <laughs> off onto Eula so that you could wander off and uh, goof around? We're not goofing around! <laughs> and Eula was the right person for the job! We were just being nice. What about you no then, huh? There. What are you doing on Dragon Spine? A friend commissioned me to do some artwork recently. And I have yet to finish. I came here because it's a quiet place where I can gather my thoughts, gather inspiration, and gather some raw materials while I'm at it. Raw materials? Raw materials? For what? Paint. Star silver can be used to make high quality silver paint. I just ran out of my previous batch, so I'll collect some ore while I'm here. Okay. Ore can be used to make paint? Yes, but you have to be selective with the specimens you choose. Even with a high level of impurities, star silver still contains fine silver colored particles. But they lack luster, which impacts the color saturation of the pigment made from them. A paint made with such pigment is generally viewed as a fake or a defective product. Interesting! Mm -hmm. So, paint aside, can you talk about how you find inspiration? Paima wants to learn! You want to learn to paint? No, not for me, for the traveler. Wait, Paima wants for the traveler me? to learn how to paint. During our travels, we sometimes have nights where there's nothing Wait a minute, to do. painting? Sure is this what I think it is? Memorable rather than just sit around. Is this what I think painting it is? Painting is a great example because you it want me to learn paint now? In time. So it seems like it's definitely a worthwhile skill to have. Yep, why not? Once you mastered it, you can paint Paima. You can paint Paimon. I think I know what's coming. Not a bad idea. Well, oh, is this event? Since event, you huh? would like to learn more about painting, why don't you come with me to the campsite? I have painting materials there. You can practice while I give you some guidance. Okay, then. Sounds great! What about Ember? Yeah, we were looking for them. Oh, she'll be fine. She is a knight of Pavonius after all. Let's just forget about all that stuff for now and go with Albedo. <laughs> Alright, fine. Let's
So, uh, can I just teleport? Yes. <laughs> oh, if I didn't explore this whole area, this would take even longer. We're back here. Hmm? What's going on? are missing nothing valuable hopefully oh. wait where's paimon's mora paimon's mora it's hard to say their value but some of my alchemy notes are missing alchemy notes would they fetch a high price to the uninitiated they are merely scraps of paper but for someone who knows what they're doing the knowledge contained in those notes is more valuable than any treasure so you're saying only someone who knows alchemy would have stolen them? But the only people who come to Dragon Spine are adventurers, thieves, and monsters. What use would any of them hmm. have with your notes? Nothing is that simple. I feel the same way. However, hilly trail break-ins and other such incidents are not unheard of on Dragon Spine. It's difficult to draw a conclusion based solely on the evidence at hand. <sighs> hmm? These appear to be. Footprints. Oh, we got footprints. Fresh ones, meaning our thief can't have made it far. Okay. Let's chase him down. We can't let them get away. All right then. From the entrance, the footprints go that way. Oh, that thieving thief! <laughs> okay, I really have to go there, huh? Okay, I cannot just teleport. Let me just. Go for the fire. Alright. Just Oh, they were around the footprints. Okay. So they scaled the cliff. Okay, after them. I don't want to fight you guys. Footprints on the snow are so hard to notice. So easy to lose track completely. That's why we have to hurry. Wait, here? The footprints stop here. Um our thief must have jumped from the cliff. Get your wind glider ready. We're going down. All right, I see. <laughs> no fighting this time. Eh? I'll Here. waste time. More footprints. They're heading to the cavern. Ooh, we got you now. You sure can run, but you definitely can't hide. Let's go in. Okay. Wait. I have an idea. I'll go in alone. Hmm? Traveler, please stay here and guard the entrance. This cavern has two points of entry, and there are shortcuts inside. Judging from the state of the footprints, he hasn't been in there long. I should be able to reach the other side before he does. Why not we just go together? But okay. <laughs> Cut him off at both ends. Good idea! Oh, so we're intersecting him. Whoever apprehends the thief first has to notify the other party. Alright then. This way we're fully covered. Still, safety comes first. We do not yet know the identity of our thief. Please take care. I just realized he has a, like, a plus, uh, like a star on his neck. I didn't okay. realize that. <laughs> See you shortly. Okay, take care too. Of so we have to go the other side? You and Paimon wait outside the cavern for... Oh, we just I wait? I wonder if found the thief. This is taking forever. It's not been that long. Really? Uh, um, Amber and Joel, like... maybe? Oh, look at all that star silver <laughs> over there. Why don't we gather it up for Albedo? All right, sure. It's right next to the cavern, so we won't be going far. If anything happens inside, we can be right back here in no time. Sure, sure, let's Yay! go. Yay, let's get started. <laughs> really? Um, in that case... Where was the other one? Uh, there was two, right? Oh, this one. Okay. Hey, this one's not bad. Back here. All right.
Then why is the thief not with you? Yeah, exactly. Sorry. I was unable to catch him. He was faster than I'd imagined. Uh, oh! So after all that, we still don't even know who the thief was? Maybe he knows. Uh, what a waste! Still, you said you didn't catch him. We won't be going back <laughs> completely empty-handed. We did some mining! Uh, mining? Wait a second. I just realized he doesn't have yeah, that. Yeah! For Star Silver! Look, we I don't know. quite a lot! I'm just being sus like a bit. <laughs> Some are really bright and shiny, and others just look like regular lumps of rock with a little shiny bit here or there. Star Silver... Hmm? Uh, <laughs> I was merely saying what was on the front of my mind. I hadn't thought you would genuinely go and gather some. Well, you said they can be turned into paint, so we got pretty curious. Also, if it weren't for that thief, we'd be making paint by now anyway, right? Yeah. Or even painting by this point. Anyway, it's all the thief's fault for wasting our time. Yes, it's all the thief's fault. Yeah, I wasn't ki I wasn't earlier. I don't see the star on his neck anymore. Is that something? The notes mean a lot to me. I'm not quite ready to give up the search yet. Let's keep an eye out for clues as we go. Okay. Oh, just one thing. Do you want us to bring all this ore back? Or did you want to sort through and get rid of the useless bits first? There's no point in bringing the bad ones back if it'll ruin the quality of the paint. Mm, some of them do look pretty dull to climb on, so it doesn't seem like those will be of any use at all. <sighs> hmm? Indeed. The sorting process is necessary. Humans are such practical creatures. They only want those things that are good. Once they have learned to distinguish between good and bad, they will never stop comparing things in their minds. That's true. Useless things should be disposed of at the outset. Right! Saves a lot of time that way. Efficiency first. So let's start by... If you put it uh, that way for, for some other meaning, that sounds wrong. Though. That doesn't sound like a good idea to dispose. Uh... Help! Help me! Is that Joel? Wait! Did you guys hear that? Was that a cry for help? It's likely an adventure in danger. Okay. Maybe not, but sound familiar. <laughs> Who is that? All right, I'm freezing. I better keep. Um. Quest area reach. What am I supposed to do? The voice was definitely coming from around here. Is anybody there? Help me! Oh, it's. Is that Bennett? No way! Is that? Hmm? It is Bennett. Is that the traveler on Paimon? It's me, Bennett! Okay, um. I haven't seen Bennett in the story yet. This is actually my first time meeting Bennett in the story. Yeah. Young Bennett's the most passionate adventures in Monstead. He's by far the least fortunate. So in famous is his bad luck that other adventures are really rarely willing to team up with him. Yet Bennett has grown used to being alone and it doesn't let him discourage him. Oh. No matter how many injuries he may suffer, his fiery passion for adventure burns on. Many things adventure team example. Okay. Wow, it's really him. Let's get him out. All right. So sorry to trouble you guys again. again. The key should be someplace nearby. Please help me find it. Again. <laughs> um, find the key. Where is? Oh wait. Wow, so much clutter. Oh, we're not gonna find the key here, surely. No. Nope. Oh no, what the heck? Oh, there's two enemies. Level 37? Oh, freak. That's not good. I don't think I'm ready to do this. Oh. I'm so under level. Last time I met these enemies, I never defeated them. But the, the big fat one I never um, fought before. What's the hurry? Let it rain. Let's go! Let's beat that guy up! There we go! One down! 
Another one to go. Oh my gosh. Oh, so sorry. A bit more. There we go. Oh, that was the longest fight ever for me. <laughs> okay. Yes, confirm. Oh my gosh. Oh, finally, I'm out. Thank you so much. If only there hadn't been rocks mixed in with the snow on the tree, it wouldn't have made me all dizzy when it fell down onto my head. And then I would have never walked into the Fatui's trap. So they are Fatui, huh? Bandit in a cage? Never saw that <laughs> coming. <laughs> I won't bore you with the rest of the details. Just me being unlucky you again. You drove off the Fatui. Okay, so they are Fatui. I didn't even know. We got revenge for you. Yep, taking them out was child's play. Child's play? <laughs> no, it wasn't for me. <laughs> you did? <laughs> That's that was so like nice the hardest fight so far. I know they were probably just following orders, but still, thanks for helping me out. So what are you doing on Dragonspine? Didn't Razor want to come with you? Razor? Oh man, I haven't seen them in the story yet. Did you hear about the Adventurers Guild thing? Yep. They're hosting a winter camp here. As one of their veteran adventurers, I'm here to help out the rookies. Okay. Razor is not an adventurer. And as the leader of Benny's adventure team, as well as the only actual member, I had to come on my own. But now I've been stuck here for so long, I probably missed it. So you're leading me to Cyrus too. doesn't get mad at me. Oh! Wait, so that guy Gerald who got left in the lurch, he was supposed to be paired up with you? Oh, so Bennett was uh, the missing guy. If so, sorry now... Bennett. Because now you love. He got paired up with uh, a different instructor instead. Okay. What? Weren't they short on instructors? Where'd they suddenly get extras from? A few people from the Knights of Avonia stepped up in order to help support the event. So they ended up with more instructors than students. <laughs> Knights of Favonius. Oh, yeah. They're definitely more reliable than me. I'm just a walking accident waiting to happen. Don't be like that, you're great too. You can't directly compare knights and adventurers. Right, right! Anyway, that was just the situation when we last saw them. It might have changed by now. Who knows? Maybe a whole load more rookies will have turned up to join in. Besides, <laughs> after all the trouble you've gone to show up as an instructor, Paimon sure Cyrus will put you to work. Really? For sure. Hey, wait a second. Where did Albedo go? Yeah, Albedo didn't follow us, actually. Albedo? You mean the alchemist from the Knights of Avonius? He's one of the instructors too? Um... No, no. he just happened to be on Dragonspine. We were just with him, but then we heard you calling for help. He must have left us at some point after that. Hmm. Could he have gone back to keep looking for clues? Let's go back to the cavern and see if he's there. Albedo's a mysterious one. Not here, this is something else. <laughs> Still no sign of Albedo. This is weird. Where is he run off to? This is great. Dragon Spine's so fun today. There's so many people around. It's never usually like this. This was where we heard Bennett's cry for help, right? Right. We heard his voice and went straight over to rescue him. Then we noticed Albedo was gone. Huh. So he just didn't feel like helping us save Bennett? That's Wait, sus. what? <laughs> what are you talking about? Oh, there he is. Oh, Albedo? Where the heck have you been? We've let me, been let for me you. look at him. Okay, this time there is a star on his neck. Does that mean anything? I should be the one to ask you that. Didn't I tell you to stay at the cavern entrance? Huh? Cabin I'm not really entrance. following who was waiting for who and who was looking for who, but first things first. I apologize, Albedo. I don't fully understand what's going on, but it seems like it's mostly my fault. No, no. 
Bennett, this is not because of you. You needn't blame yourself. Traveler, clear this up for me. What was the reason that you left the cavern entrance? Did you... Ah! The other albedo just now... I mean, I think it is another albedo because... He doesn't have the star, right? He's saying, why did we left the cavern entrance? He was still in the cavern entrance. There you are. Yula. Stay right there. You have a lot of explaining to do. Hmm? What? Me? Huh? Yula? Aren't you supposed to be helping the new guy? <laughs> yes, that's what I would be doing. If I hadn't been interrupted by a certain someone's malicious scheming. Malicious scheming? Albedo. I saw you taking Jewel towards the wasteland at the edge of Dragonspine. That place is crawling with monsters. What the devil do you think you were doing? Huh? Uh, uh... Whoa, 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 wait a second. What's going on? Actually, wrong question. How much stuff is going on? <laughs> when I came to stop you from leading Joel any further, your first reaction was to throw okay, the so child down imposter. and attack me. When I fought that's back, you, you quickly that's fled. What it means. Care to explain? You quickly fled. Uh, uh, I see. Interesting. Interesting. You. Uh, it sounds like you met yeah, an imposter. Exactly. Someone who was impersonating me. Impersonating you? To what end? It is difficult to draw a definitive conclusion for now. But these strange incidents do seem to be connected. Uh huh. Okay. Your alchemy notes were stolen. Yeah. Can the traveler and Paimon testify that the three of you were together up until you entered the yes. cavern? Yes, we can confirm that. As things stand, I don't have any reason to harm the child. Whoever you met is likely to be both the thief who stole my notes. So and also another an albedo. Uh, stole the notes. And just now we met him. Of course, it's entirely natural for you to be skeptical of my story. I was separated from the Traveler and Paimon for a significant duration while we were pursuing the thief. My word alone cannot serve as a definitive account of my actions and whereabouts during that period. Okay. But the Traveler and Paimon can at least testify that I was not the individual who tore up the campsite or stole my notes. <laughs> Albedo, do you have any enemies? Could it be one of your enemies impersonating you to get revenge on you or something? I don't have any enemies. And I'm not aware of having given anyone cause to exact vengeance upon me. There is insufficient evidence to assert what happened with any certainty at this point. Given how serious the situation is, I intend to investigate it myself. Why Even if yourself, you though? Not to pursue it any further. You... I won't discourage your ongoing suspicion mm -hmm. of me if you can't believe my story. Though, naturally, I would hope you can afford me some credibility on account of our solidarity as fellow members of the Knights of Avonius. Traveler, Paimon, Bennett, if you are willing, I welcome you to monitor my activities beyond this point so that you can act as my witnesses. If I am what this imposter wants, he will come looking for me again eventually. Things can only become clearer from that point on. <sighs> I'll give you the benefit of the doubt, as preposterous as your claims sound. And I will choose to believe that an imposter went after Joel, and not you. I will keep Joel safe. If you need any support with the investigation, okay. contact myself and Amber. You have my gratitude. As far as Amber goes, I will... Yula! Oh, there Yula! Is Amber. Where are you? Amber, we're here. Yula! Oh, and Traveler, Paimon, Albedo, and Bennett. You're all <laughs> together. Great. Bennett, I'm glad I ran into you here. Cyrus was telling me you still hadn't shown up. He was getting worried you might have run into some trouble. <laughs> yeah, I ran into a little trouble. Thanks for your concern. Sure thing. Well, now that I found you, let's go check in with Cyrus. All right. Uh, but before that, has something come up? How come you're all gathered here together? It's a long story. Need any help? Between us, there have been a few minor incidents, but nothing I haven't already dealt with. 
Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> it's my fault, really. All because of my bad luck. But everything is fine now. So, it's all set then? Great. Shall we head back down together? I did say I'd bring Bennett back if I saw him. <laughs> sure, I'm ready to go. <sighs> Very well. Let's go. Okay. And then there were three. <laughs> Traveler, can we talk somewhere else? There's something I need to tell you. Okay. Let's go to my camp. What's going on here, actually? Back to the camp? My camp is somewhere that we can talk openly without reservation. But before that. Oh no. <laughs> Can help tidy up. Thank you. I appreciate it. Oh, so we tidied up, huh? Okay. Help up. I've been absorbed in my research lately and haven't attended to the dusting. It's due for a cleaning. <laughs> the painting. Uh, and one more. Okay. <sighs> yep, that should do it. Neat and tidy. Thank you, both of you. Now that everything is in order, it's time to talk. You look really serious right now. Is this about what happened earlier? <sighs> I remember I once told you that you must have questions, and then I would answer them. Mm -hmm. I also said that while I did not wish to deceive you, there were certain things I could not go into detail on. Okay. I am a synthetic human being. A human a synthetic forged by human a human being? hand. The one who created me. My mother and teacher. Her name is Ryan Daughter. A researcher from Conria. Also known as Gold. He's a synthetic human being? Like, uh... Another example I can think of is like Mitsuki from Boruto. <laughs> like that? A synthetic human? What the... How the heck does that work? When the pinnacle of attainment in alchemy is combined with unimaginably vast learning, the apex achievement is the creation of human life. When you say Conria, hmm. do you mean... I am indeed somewhat older than my appearance might suggest. Okay. But when I came into being, Conria had already been destroyed. I have no memories of it. My master raised me and taught me everything. Like her, I am a pure alchemist. I live for academic knowledge. Mm -hmm. Nationality and identity are not what ultimately define us. Okay. Traveler, what is your general feeling toward Dragonspine? You've visited numerous times now. Would you say, Would you say it's a eerie and melancholy cold, place? Eerie and melancholy place. I know. Ryan Daughter created two miraculous beings. One is me. And the other is the venomous dragon, Durin, who died here. Okay. Durin? So that makes you guys Dragon, brothers? Huh? As sons of Ryan Daughter. Durin and I are indeed inextricably linked to one another. The phenomenon of our creation defies definition within the scope of a typical human worldview. But if we may tentatively call it birth, then yes, we, by extension, are family. Um, speaking of Durin, Paimon remembers that his power was quite. A strange and tenacious life force. That's right. Because of this, Whenever strange things happen on Dragonspine, it always makes me wonder. For instance, the feeling of being watched that you described, as well as the sounds you heard, and the one impersonating me that Eula met. About that, there's something else I couldn't say earlier. Oh, right! Paimon knows what you mean! When Eula and the others were here just now, the Traveler gave me a look as if to say, don't say anything. Probably because it would only make you more suspicious. So Paimon kept quiet. Mm -hmm. But Paimon noticed that you came out of the cavern not too long after going in, and you told us that you didn't manage to catch the thief. Anyway, what took him so long? Then we heard Bennett calling for help, so we went to rescue him. But strangely, you didn't come 
Ah, and that was an and imposter of him. So, it seems that you met my imposter too. Well, if so, it was a pretty good impression. He had you down to a T. We never would <laughs> have guessed. Down to a T. Also, after he left us, why did he go after Joel? Perhaps Duran's power drives people to madness. But <laughs> that's merely crude conjecture. Whether someone is impersonating me or there is another false me up there, this is a cursed tale, and it is not one whose weight you should have to bear. Traveler, perhaps you should return to Mondstadt if you have no further business here. The work that lies ahead will occupy me completely. I'm afraid I will be unable to entertain you beyond this I'm point. I'm not going anywhere. Paimon and I will help with the investigation. Yeah. Since we know already. Yeah, don't push us away at a time like this. All right, thank you. You were intending to participate in that winter camp, if I recall correctly. That could serve as an excellent pretext for you to remain on the mountain. Oh, <laughs> so we use that as an excuse then. In that case, <laughs> please join in the activities of the Adventurers Guild as planned, and be on the lookout for any leads while you're at it. All right. If anyone sees me, or someone like me... We'll be sure to pass the info straight on to you! Okay. Good. Then we're agreed. Okay, let's split up to look for clues. Then meet back here at this camp in a few days' time! Sounds good to me. But please, whatever happens, put your safety first at all times. Alright. Oh, we finished the act one. In this one video, okay, good. Oh, what? Born of the Snow, Dragon Spine Special Training, complete prerequisite quest first. Eh? What's this? What? Complete. <laughs> oh, what? Well, I, I don't think I can finish this since, uh. <laughs> and then Dragon Spine Special Training. What's this a name again? Albedo, he has a star on his name. Eh? But just now, when the imposter... He doesn't have that star thingy. You must complete the second phase of the quest to unlock the challenge. Proceed to the quest. Okay, I see. So, I finished uh, Act 1. I will straight away play Act 2, but maybe I'll split it in another video. So yeah, I'll split this into multiple videos. So this is it for now, but I'm gonna keep going in another video. Eh? So yeah, thank you guys for watching this video. See you guys next time.